Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Uh, and today's one we're heading out to Tailand Bend uh, in the old VS. So just getting a few last little things done on the car. Um, as you might have noticed, it's a bit underpowered at drift rack. So I'm just doing a few little things to see if I can fix that. But if not, I'll just have to roll with it. Um, so yeah, I've just swapped the intake over from my other VS, put a new air filter in it, new fuel filter. Just little things to see maybe that might be why it's underpowered because my other one goes so much better and you know, i'm not exactly sure why so motor might just be tired but just thought i'd try little things because having even in the tiniest bit more power is going to make a huge difference out there so yeah a few little things and then we'll load the car up load all our tools up and get heading out so yeah so we're all loaded up ready to go ready to head out to tail and ben uh there's a night prac on tonight and i'll just be watching that i was going to do that but just uh, thought I'd just do the competition instead, so yeah, we'll uh, get heading out. So we made out to Tail and Ben. Uh, we got here last night and just dropped the car off and watched a bit of night drifting and stuff. Uh, we got the same Murray Bridge at my brother's place, so that's pretty handy, about 20 minutes from the track. Um, so yeah, we just set everything up and get scrutinized and have our driver's briefing. Then uh, we're out first thing in the morning at nine o'clock. So yeah, we'll uh, go do that, pretty keen, so. I need to be in though, there's so much gear changing. Yeah, there is. Like, I think I need to go third and then fucking second again. Like, second, third, second. Oh, yeah. It's far. Like, fourth on the entry, back to third around the corner, and then second, then third, then second. Yeah. Yeah, right. It's far. Hey. That's funny, because if I put a new motor in this, it wouldn't have made a difference, because it still had the same fuel filter. Yeah, exactly. And you would have been like, what the fuck? Yeah. That's so good though, easy fix. Yeah, killer. Yeah, it fucking rips now. Yeah, literally. It's not like sluggish like it was, I remember. It yeah, yeah. Like
Literally, because I shifted fifth, I was just had to bum drag to try grab second. Yeah. It was fucked. Right. Sorry, man. No, that's all right. That's very cold on my neck. We've got Mitchie Stewart in the lead, Kane Scott in the chase in the V35. Two, um, you know, the best sounding V6s will ever hear coming down the straight. As, uh, oh, it looks like Michi with a bit of an under rotation and Kane with a bit of an over rotation. You put them together, you get a half to piece and corner. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, that's not how drifting works. Ah, oh, damn it. I thought they were working together, Danny. Guess we're not. <laughs> there you go. So Michi getting through the rest of the corner, of course, not too bad. And Kane getting up nice and close on that rear door of the VS corner, right across the line. Michi just dropping his tire right at the end there. But they get it done. Mitchie Stewart in the chase in the VS Commodore. Battle of the bleeding eardrums right now. Actually, both these guys have mufflers, which is nice. We appreciate that. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. As you see, Kane right out wide, taking the Scott line. Actually, he's on the rally cross course. He's thrown it completely away. Mitchie Stewart doing the right to it. Did a really good job there to keep that group going. Yep, kept it going as he just had a little bit of a bubble yeah. there. He didn't freak out when he saw the car go off track. He didn't completely follow it off track. He no. just kept it under control, very, very cool. He's done a, he's done a good job, get the, get the run completed. Of course, he should be behind, but of course, when the lead comes, course, he should have a complete as Pat did, not just a purchase. Yeah, when the car goes running off circuit, there's uh, not much you can really do.
title, title of the Osdells with the, uh, the R31 in the lead and Mitch Stewart in the chase in that VS Commodore. Doing all he can to keep up that. I think that 31's the name. It's Turbo? It's Turbo. There you go. way too well to be an A. Actually, you're right. <laughs> Look at it pull on that Commodore. That's yeah. That's yeah, I'm, 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 think, I'm thinking about it now because I'm, I'm picturing that in my head compared to Eli's car, which is definitely an <laughs> Finish off the run there. Good job from Patrick in the chase. Nice solid lead there from Mitchie as well, Danny. So the day's all over. I uh, made it into the top 16 and then I uh, had a battle with uh, Patrick, someone, I can't remember his name, in a 31. And yeah, that car makes like 240 kilowatts and it just flogged me down the straight so I couldn't keep up with him at all. Um, but yeah, I didn't make any mistakes in my lead or chase so I was pretty happy with that. Um, but yeah, wicked day nonetheless. Yeah, we'll just head home now and pack everything up. Uh, I had an issue with the car as well where the key wasn't basically engaging the isolator so i have to sort that out and yeah probably take it at matsuri and see how we go so the vs is all back in the shed we're not quite we're just gonna leave it on the trailer yeah killer weekend got breno's giving me a, thanks oh. bro <laughs> yeah breno's helping me unload 
massive help having other people you know, just makes a huge difference so yeah no dramas with the car really apart from that key yeah I had a sick weekend got heaps of sick tandems in with everyone and pretty glad I made the top 16 so yeah might be driving this thing at Matsuri we'll see how we go but yeah anyways I'll uh, see you guys in the next one cheers for watching